All right, that's better. Well, last little daylight of 2022, at least according to what uh, is conventionally accepted as that time frame. And um, I'm I released a lot. Actually, I was reflecting back on to 2002, 2001, 2002, and remembering some decisions and choices um, that I made back then, which in order to you know, and I made these decisions and choices based upon, um, again, kind of a crossroads that, oh, that tree is so beautiful. <laughs> um, a, a crossroads on, uh, there we go. Um, kind of what future timeline? Because yeah, at that that stage I was doing, um, I had learned some metaphysical techniques, if you will, to to so that we called it weeding and seeding timelines, and um, it's just again, you know, like creating your reality. So many ways, so many different ways, but that's what I was participating with at that time. So again, 2001, 2002, and uh, I was at a crossroads. I saw, you know, from a soul evolution, you know, through my soul's eyes on that journey that I took, inner journey, um, you know, I saw a potential future and I decided to go with it. It was, it was a little bit outside of was at a tangent of a particular path that I was on and had been on, you know, for a couple of decades. Oh, interesting, you know. Uh, but I chose to go with, you know, it was, it was a lot more edgy, it was a lot more, what do we have here? We have some folks coming out of the office. Um, it was a lot more edgy and um, How you doing Bob Parent? Any time New Year? Yeah, yeah. New Year's one or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, black Reminds me of the one that we had when I was a kid. Yeah, of course. It's quiet all day and now they come up. That's okay. It's all part of the it's all part of the atmosphere here. And so uh, well, there we go. Well, that works. I'll go this way with it. Even though I can still hear these fellas, but I don't know if that's gonna help any. Oh, there we go. Just turn it down a little bit. There we go. Um so anyway, on that lifetime, oh, it's interesting. This fella showed up. Um, good reflection. Um, so at that time, it's so again 21, 22, uh, 20, 20, 0, 0, 1, or 20, 0, 0, 2, 2001, 2002. Um, and I did. And, and to the point where I... Um, I shifted some things with my birth time and my astrological energies and and um, and it did it just shifted me into a 
into a very different reality, which actually, so where am I in my mid 60s? So that was like early 40s, 40s and 50s, and now into my 60s. After the kids, okay, yeah, so after the kids were now adults and moving into their adulthood, my kids that I gave birth to, you know, then I decided to go this path, and I've been on it for the last, uh, you know, 20, 22 years. And, um, and and I, uh, okay, so I followed that path, and it was, it was, it was some, like, how would I put it? It's like deep dredging, you know, of society. You know, I kind of shifted a little bit of my domestic, maternal, motherly focuses and priorities, even energetically, even though I didn't quite, I didn't biologically, physically raise the kids, uh, my children. Um, I definitely raised them. I definitely maintained my, maintained absolutely the etheric, the psychic. You really can't cut it off as a mother when you've given birth to children. Unless there's an agreement between souls to do that. But, but still, the energy connection between us was totally, I needed to flow a lot of myself to them until they were, you know, they could stand on their own as young adults. And then once, once that happened, I mean, around 2002 or so, I, um, I didn't have to put that much energy into them and that function. So I had other energies to like really dive into some deep karmic, um, societal, I guess, uh, karma, and work through a lot of stuff, you know, which I did during those years, these last 20, 22 years. And it's so interesting because, you know, I had a sleeping dream where I was like, oh, just got awful tired. I think I'm going to do this, yeah where I was just exhausted this afternoon. It was kind of one of those things where, I, and again, I went into a, a depth of depression and darkness and despair during that nap this afternoon. But then I came out of it, you know. It's like, they, you know, I moved through it. The energy gets released, and, and then... Um, Oh, the life of an alchemist, yeah. Um, uh, and then it occurred to me, you know, I can go back now. I can, well, it's not so much that I go back, but it's like I've come around full circle these last 20, 22 years, and then these last two years, within the last 20, 22 years, in doing the work that I did during that stage of my life and with those energies. But now it's like I kind of want to focus a little bit on um, a little bit on more of a, again, my style, home. Hey, little ones. Got those tiny little birds. Oh, I love them. I don't know if you can see it or not. Kind of blends right in with the, blends right in with the leaves. Oh. But, but it's like I want to get, I'm, I want to return to the more sort of like intense and powerful and I don't know what else to use. 
scorpionic energy that I focused on a lot during the last 22 years. It's like now it's, I'm, um, you know, still the Virgo sun, um, but more with the Taurus and Cancer energetics, which is much more kind of home and house and home and family and gardens. And I like those energies. I like those energies where I can kind of, you know, start flowing, flowing my focus and support into um, family, you know, my family of this next, this next phase and everything. The little boy I saw in the store, I think Christmas morning. Oh my God, he just sparked something inside of me and it's like, yeah. That nurturing, now grandmotherly um, part of me wants to focus on these these young ones coming through now and help them, help support them and them finding their greatness on this incredible planet. And so I was very happy. So that shifted and, and something just said go back to well, in a way, like I say, go back, but um, yeah, it, it's kind of like go go to the next octave of um, you know the astrology and the energy that I worked with prior to 2002. There we go. Prior to that time, which was much more, um, like I said, there was more of a focus on. A little bit more on family and home and that type of stuff. So, and I sat with that, meditated on it, and pulled up a couple of birth charts and astrology charts and said, yeah, this feels right now. And it feels, it feels like I'm kind of coming home to, to um, you know, this, the, the, the part of the self of me that I had to kind of put in the background. Well, other parts of me came to the forefront during these last 20 years. It's good. It's good. So, so, uh, yeah. So that's what we got going here. And um, I don't know, you see a little bit of, a little bit of a break in the clouds over the hill there if that shows up. Feels good, but the sun is setting, so that would be west, I think, that way, west, north. Anyway, Satnam Vaheguru Chimikwich. As we now wrap up 2022 and move into 2023. Blessings for all.